After three successive parliamentary governments governed Myanmar, the Tat Mata, Myanmar Armed Forces, led by General Ni Win, enacted a coup d'état in 1962, which ousted the parliamentary government and replaced it with a military junta. Accusations of severe human rights abuses and violations followed afterwards, and the cabinet of the parliamentary government and political leaders of ethnic minority groups were arrested and detained without trial. Around this period, other ethnic minority groups began forming large rebel factions, such as the Kajan Independence Army, in response to the new government's refusal to adopt a federal system. In 1967, the ideological spread of China's cultural revolution led to riots between the Bamar and Chinese communities in Rangoon, present-day Yangon, and other cities. The riots left 31 dead and prompted China to begin openly supporting the Communist Party of Burma. Both immediately after the coup and again in 1972, Ni Win held peace talks with insurgents, but both times they fell apart. This was partly due to Ni Win's refusal to adopt a federal multi-party system. After negotiations failed, defectors from the Tatmadaw and ethnic insurgents walked back to their bases, with headlines across Myanmar famously reading they have gone back. Private property was confiscated by the government, and the Burmese Socialist Programme Party, BSPP, was founded in 1974 to govern the country under a one-party system. Under Ni Win's 26-year dictatorship, Myanmar became an isolated hermit kingdom and one of the least developed countries in the world. In 1988, nationwide student protests resulted in the BSPP and Ni Win being ousted and replaced with a new military regime, the State Peace and Development Council.